Hey folks, welcome back to Sawing with Sandy. I got a little bit of a break in the clouds here. It was raining earlier today and we got a big storm rolling in tomorrow. And so I'm taking advantage of my weekend to get out here and get this pile, well at least some of it under wraps or get it taken care of. So what I'm doing today, I mentioned in my other videos that I just got a new shipment of these IBC cages. What I'm gonna try to do today is to fill at least one of them. And just out of curiosity, I'm gonna see how long it takes me to fill one of them. I'm not going to uh, bust my back doing this. I'm going to work at my typical pace, but you guys take a guess. I don't know whether it'll take me 10 minutes or an hour, but we'll get one filled and we'll figure out exactly how long it takes. Now, if you guys are curious to know how much wood goes into one of these IBC cages, in my estimation, there is about three quarters of one face cord of wood. Now, I don't take the time to stack it properly in here. Some of you guys may go ahead and do that. I've seen other guys cut out sections in order to facilitate that. That's not my style. My goal is to use these to eliminate the number of times I have to handle the wood. And if I have to split it, then stack it, well, that's handling it more than, more than once. I only want to handle it once. And so I'm just going to throw it in there loose. So come along today. Gra glad you guys are all here. And we'll see how long this takes us to fill up. And just before I forget, and just before I get going here, I'm splitting mostly softwood here today. Many of you out there only bird softwood, and that's sort of my situation. Although I do have a few hardwood trees mixed in there. All this wood here is stuff that I harvest from my own property. I bring it in in the winter, usually get it stacked up here, or thrown up here into a big pile into the 16 inch lengths I need. And then I split it over here on my splitter once the snow goes away. So if you want to see my splitter, here it is up front. I just put out a video where I added this table to it. This splitter, to be honest, I don't even know the brand of it. I bought it secondhand years ago. It's really held up quite nice. Maybe some of you guys recognize it, but I don't see anything on it that would tell me the manufacturer. But it's, uh, yeah, it's held up pretty well. I think the only thing with this unit is there has been an additional uh, engine or a second engine put on it. So you can see here, this is some of some of the, uh, I don't know if I'd call that an upgrade, but some of the changes to the original. The other thing I just mentioned was my table. This is what I built recently. This is gonna help me, I hope, today, but this will be my first crack at using one of these tables to hopefully make it so I don't have to bend over quite as much and save the old backaroo there. So that's really about it. I'm gonna get it fired up as I mentioned. Let's see how long this takes.
Well guys, you hear that silence? That silence is not me listening to nature. It's me sort of looking at this engine and being like, what happened? Well, this is what happened. See this little bitty plastic piece here? This mounts to some of the linkages for the throttle. And you can sort of see them over here. That's going to adjust the timing on the engine and everything like that. Well, that is, uh, that is broke. And so I have to uh, do something about it. I don't know what I'm going to do about it. I think I'm going to have to, uh, yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to do. But the engine is over revving now. The timing's out of whack. I can't run it like this. What happened was basically I adjusted the throttle and I think this old engine here got brittle and this little plastic piece I probably just cracked off it um, as a result of its age so just so happened it uh, the one time I went to adjust the throttle the uh, the little lever it pulled all the way and it ended up pulling that piece right off so the engine can't be run like this so I got to figure out what I'm going to do I don't really know but if you uh, if you have equipment around your place like this you know all too well that breakdowns do happen and parts are probably not on hand as is the case with this one so I'm going to improvise here see if I can get this thing fixed up because yeah we're probably not going to be running with parts like this sitting off to the side so hold on I don't know when I'm going to get this up and running hopefully soon and then we can get back to filling this IBC cage because if we have a look here I'm uh, I'm not doing too bad and I got a lot more wood to cut so I got to get this fixed so I guess that's my uh, number one task anyways back to it guys well you win some you lose some i'm not going to quite call myself a loser yet but i didn't quite win this one i will get this ibc cage filled as you can tell i'm about two-thirds full this thing was working quite good however i did notice as i was going it wasn't quite revving up to where it normally does i figured it was just because it's sat all winter and i haven't really done much to it and since this is the first time out splitting this year maybe it was just a bit groggy but after all, I tinkered around a little bit and sure enough, this little plastic piece was broken on it. So I did what anyone does and I was resourceful. As I always say, you don't have to be the brightest, but you need to be the most, most resourceful. And I think I'm pretty resourceful. So sometimes you got to reach for the crazy glue. Whether you grab that or grab the JB Weld, it's up to you. But uh, crazy glue is close at hand this time. So I put some crazy glue on that plastic piece there. Basically it controls the butterfly on the carburetor i'm gonna let it sit overnight then i'll get back to splitting shouldn't take me that much longer to get this filled but i have a pretty good idea how long it will take me and once i'm actually done filling this probably tomorrow i'll make sure to post it at the end of this video so as always i appreciate all you guys watching you know what i'm going to be up to for a while we have a look back there i got a heck of a pile of wood so i'm definitely going to be filling a few more of these and to be honest I got 24 of them out of the front of the house, so uh, that's going to take a while. Anyways, thanks for watching, folks. See you all next time.